When he kneels before the Virgin Mary, Masaichi Kawasaki prays for his ancestors. He's one of the last descendants of Japan's hidden Christians. Here in Nagasaki, they've worshipped in the shadows for centuries. It was only natural that I would learn this practice, as it was part of my daily life growing up as a child. A bit like one assimilating a habit into everyday life. Jesuit priest Francis Xavier first brought Catholicism to Japan in 1549. By the early 17th century, there were at least 200,000 followers. The missionaries replaced the existing temples with churches and in doing so destroyed statues representing Buddhism. Persecution began and in 1614 Christianity was outlawed. Missionaries and priests were killed and for the faithful the choice was simple. Renounce Christ or die. Some among them decided to reintegrate into Shintoism and Buddhism in order to keep their real beliefs hidden away. Christianity became an oral tradition, the spoken word being the only way to pass on the message without leaving a trace. These chants, a mix of Portuguese, Latin and Japanese, were handed down from generation to generation. I'm conserving my faith with the slender hope that my children will carry the torch when I die. Today the community is dwindling, with just a few hundred practicing the rituals and ceremonies, throwing into doubt the future of Japan's hidden Christians.